Hello, I'm Jason with scienceandmath.com. And today what we're going to do is show how air pressure that's all around us can actually hold the water inside of a glass in place uh, even when the glass is turned upside down. Uh, and so we'll have a few things that we'll explain along the way, but that's basically the bottom line. All you'll need for this experiment is an empty glass that you're going to use to actually perform the experiment. You need another glass of water or just a sink uh, you know, to actually give yourself some water to use. And then you'll need a piece of cardboard. Now this is nothing special. This cardboard just came off of something I found in the pantry. Just cut it out to be slightly bigger than the cup that you plan to use. Now here uh, in the studio I have a basin to catch any water that drips, but you can just use this, uh, do this experiment either in the, in the tub or um, just in the kitchen sink works just fine as well. So basically what we're going to do is we're going to put our empty glass inside the container and then what we're going to do is we're going to put some water inside of it. So let's go ahead and put some water and we're going to fill it up most of the way. I mean you can actually do this experiment by filling it all the way up to the brim with water and that works fine. It's just a little bit harder to actually perform uh, if you do it that way but you know it'll work either way. As long as you don't have an enormous glass of water it should work fine either way. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to put this cardboard down on top of the rim of the glass and then after we do that we're going to reach down and take and pick the whole assembly up, flip the whole assembly over so that the water is pushing and gravity is pushing it against this piece of cardboard but we should find if we do everything correctly that the, um, the water actually doesn't fall out of the glass at all. So let's do that. We'll just put it right on top just like this. Okay and we're going to push down on it and then we're going to lift up the whole thing like this and then we'll let it go and you'll see that everything is in place that the water is inside of the glass the cardboard's getting wet it'll probably fall just like it did just there out for a minute but you can see that everything was held in place for a good long amount of time by the way the only reason that it fell was because the cardboard got wet if you, if you get cardboard wet enough, it's going to lose its strength. But for a good few seconds, you can see that it was held in place seemingly just by a little piece of cardboard. Now we can actually try to do the whole thing again, but instead of using cardboard, we can use a piece of plastic and see if that changes anything. So let's go ahead and fill everything up to the top here, all the way to the brim with water like this. And then what we'll do here is we'll just use a blue paper plate here and just see if we can get it to work. So let's go ahead and push down right on top, flip the whole thing over, and then let go. And we'll see that everything is held in place. Uh, and actually the plastic plate works a little bit better because it doesn't get soggy. Whenever cardboard gets soggy, it's going to fail. What's happening here is we have the water inside and it, it is pushing down on this guy and it is definitely wanting to get out. But you have atmospheric pressure out here. And that means you have air pressure. The, the pressure and the pushing of the air around you is actually pushing up from underneath onto this plate. And it's a really great demonstration to show you how strong air pressure is, that it's strong enough to hold. I mean, this glass of water is, is pretty heavy, you know, but it's strong enough to push against this plate and to keep the water in place. So it's basically an experiment in balancing air pressure. You have air pressure pushing up from the outside, you have water that the force of gravity is pushing down from the inside. Clearly the water is staying inside the cup, so the pressure and the force outside the cup must be greater than what is uh, the weight of the, the water inside, and that's why it's able to be held up. So again, you can do this with a piece of cardboard. Uh, it works for a few seconds usually, but then it'll usually give way. If you find some piece of plastic, it works you know, even indefinitely. Now I'm gonna start shaking it a little bit, see how strong this is, um, but it will probably give way in just a second. So I'm gonna start doing this. You can see this is actually, there it goes, finally gives way. So just a little bit, when one of the corners just lifts up just a little bit and lets some of that air start pushing in, then the water starts gushing out and then the whole thing collapses. So it's a great little experiment, it takes just a few items from around the house, it takes five minutes, and it's a great way to learn about the fact that we have all this air around us and it's pushing on us with air pressure. 